Palo Santo is an aromatic wild-growing tree which belongs to the Borsaracea family. This is the same group to which belong also myrrh and frankincense, copal sanctum from Mexico, etc. The name is derived from Spanish and means holy wood, Palo Santo. It refers to an age-old healing practice structured in the knowledge and ceremonial traditions of South and Mesoamerican shamans or healers, which they call curanderos. The tree, with its wonderful shaped foliage with white blossoms and reddish fruits, is widely used for ornamental effects also. It is native to the tropical forests of Peru and especially Ecuador and its Galapagos Islands, with their long, severe, dry and brief wet seasons. The spicy scent of the tree radiates the embracing warmth of a very special wood, with overtones of a light herbal, deeply perfuming freshness. Palo Santo, known among the indigenous people of Ecuador as the tree that perfumes the aches that wounds, reminds us of a universal mystery, expressed in the symbols of a paradox. That means encountering pain or being frightened by death is a secret key opening the gates of a possible resurrection. It bears in itself the curiosity of going further in our existential questions and promises the reward of a spiritual healing and a healing substance born of light. And the tree expresses this perfectly. By impact, often via specific insects, it naturally loses its leaves and dies after a period of up to 100 years of slow growth. Lying or standing untouched on the ground, it takes then up to 10 years until it develops the precious resin of Palo Santo from the deadfall through a special biochemical metamorphosis. The aging process of the wood is like the aging process of the human being. The resin of the tree needs what I would call a manifold self-distillation process. This is through time in order to ensure that it has gathered all the subtle information for the development of its precious fragrant substances. It is especially the resins in trees which are linked to this secret of death and rebirth within the cosmic cycles of nature. This has well its counterparts or parallels on the side of us humans. No maturing of the soul is possible without time, and the body serves as a vehicle to let this dance between light and shadow happen in order to trigger the alchemy of the ever-glowing spirit in matter, which is our human resin, we can say. Without a proper amount of time to learn to let go, we can say also to die, without a proper time to fall down and stand up again and again, also to get humble with this, our own precious inner resin will not develop. Our Yuvida would say it needs time to integrate the juice of life, or what Ayurveda calls Soma, inside the living structure of man. It needs definitely the time factor and the time factory in order to become a fully empowered, aromatic human being. As to the ethnobotanical use, Palo Santo since times immemorial is revered and used within the traditional religious life and the daily rhythms for its purifying properties. Given the spiritual and cultural context, it is considered a sacred wood, used as incense for honoring the dead as well as for transforming and restoring the subtle energetic fields within the human beings.
The age-old folklore of native tribes prescribes ceremonial fumigations with Palo Santo wood, helping to expel negative energies through the practice of special curing rituals and thereby ensuring healing and well-being. Interesting to know that, and this is a quote, those who harvest this wood discovered that not only are there male and female Palo Santo trees, but that they grow in groups of one male and eight female trees. The lone male outlives his female counterparts by a long shot. While female trees tend to live around 40 to 50 years, the male can live up to 200 years. Their wood also has distinct characteristics. Shamans teach that these trees have a distinct spirit that lives in the wood long after the tree's life has ended. In a very practical way, the fumigated wood is also used in houses for cleaning as an insect repellent and also against parasites and microbes. The powerful essential oil is obtained by steam distillation from the powdered wood of the fallen tree with its concentrated resin. Only licensed people today are allowed to harvest the wood from the trees, usually by just cutting some of the branches. Therefore, it is always good to make sure that the oil is derived from legal harvesting and no cutting of living trees for low-quality exploitation is practiced. Besides its former applications, it is rather a new development that modern aromatherapy has put its focus on Palo Santo and its essential oil derived from it. From a medicinal level, due to a certain chemical compound such as limonene, but also other terpenes, Palo Santo has proven its benefit as an invaluable antiseptic oil for the treatment of various ailments such as sprains, joint pains, wounds and other injuries. It is also applied in special therapeutic formulas as a remedy against cold, respiratory diseases and headaches. On the psychosomatic level, Palo Santo assists in subtle energy work for meditation. It raises the mood of the practitioner and on the emotional level it helps against depression, it helps for recovery from traumatic experiences and against fear. Within massage thereby, Palo Santo oil gets deeply absorbed by the neurological system, instilling a positive quality into the electromagnetic and the biophotonic field of the human aura. Here are some ways we can use Palo Santo. As an on-skin irritant directly on the skin, for example on the wrist, the neck and the temples. As a massage oil mixed with a carrier oil, for example with sweet almond oil, such as inchi oil and others. Also in combination with essential oils of course, such as frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood, and other wood and resinous oils. On the chest directly to clear the lungs and support breathing. As a room fragrancer, alone or also in combination with other essential oils of course. It uplifts the spirit and purifies the atmosphere from any negative energy. Very useful this is in hotel rooms to clear the energy. As a meditation enhancer of course, alone or in combination with other essential oils. Or when traveling, a few drops placed on the wrists and back of the neck as a protective shield against environmental influences. And when inhaled, it shows benefits in case of seasonal allergies and asthma.